back when my leg was amputated, uh, back in 1993, uh, I was in the hospital and my life was on the line and um, it was thought that I might not survive that situation and at times it looked very dim. And so um, I was in the hospital three and a half months and uh, which was, everything was a shock about the whole situation because I was very athletic. I was um, very agile, I participated in sports, I loved to dance. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be uh, granted accommodations there after the amputation uh, and maintain a residency there. Uh, uh, so I was honored by that because then it took something that initially uh, was very tragic and made it uh, uh, something that uh, there were benefits, spiritual sp spiritual powers will bring about, will make something that it's in t the intentions that might have happened might appear not to be favorable to you, but will enable you to endure that and overcome that and actually make it appear to, to be of benefit because I focused on other parts of myself. I focused on my inner self much more then. When I decided to do something after that, because I, I felt I was granted uh, uh, more time to live, to mm -hmm. more time to live, when your life is on the line and you experience the gratification of being blessed to go on, to show the appreciation for that, you, you, you're more normally, in many cases, you're more stimulated to give it your best shot, or at least a better shot. So uh, uh, I look forward to uh, being there and painting and, and meeting people and also uh, uh, seeing people that was in, in support of me there uh, from a medical standpoint as well. and. Uh, Fortunate enough to be able to um, have access to another environment, and also out there I see color and form uh, uh, differently from how I see it here. And I just I enjoy both environments. It's always better to broaden your perspective and horizon by seeing different locations and different people there too. There's a cross section of people that I like from all over the world. There are communities from all over the world and I love that, that, that type of environment as well. But in both kids' situations, there are trial and tribulation and difficulties in East Coast, West Coast or wherever, but there are things to appreciate also. And we should try to focus on appreciating as much of the situation as possible rather than being overcome by the obstacles and, and the pressures of the problems. Who are um, some of your influences? Influences go back to uh, uh, people from, from a very young age. You're seeing strong people in all professions. You're seeing people in all professions. I remember meeting Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, being on a high school team, all-star team with Dr. Julius Irvin playing basketball. Julius Irvin. Where was that? That was in New York at Fashion Institute of Technology. In 1968, we were on a high school uh, all-star team in that spring of 1968. He was six foot four at that time, and we was playing uh, high school all-star games, about four or five of them after a high school year. And that was, that was just gorgeous. And then he was 6'4", but he went to University of Massachusetts. And he grew four inches and became one of the greatest players ever in the history of the game. But back then, he was another excellent player that was on a high school all-star team. And when your past go back to people who were excellent, now they are some of the greatest in the world. You see that that was a very influential situation.